Hi, hi. I'm Arvind here from kashatrading.com and I have the years of more than 10 years of experience in real time and as a trainer. So today is the demo session. So we are going to start the demo session and I will describe this all. What is SAP? What is the SAP MM? And what are the SAP MM functionalities? All those things. Okay, so we are going to start the demo. <clears throat> so first of all first of all sap stands for what is sap sap is a erp product so from different different type of business we have different different type of um, industries we have so they are using this sap software to run the business processes so SAP stands for Systems Applications Products in Data Processing. SAP stands for. Actually, it's basically from Germany and it is invented in 1972 by 5X IBM employees. Okay, so SAP is an enterprise resource planning software which is produced by German corporations. So SAP is an enterprise information software that was designed to manage resources, information and activities that are required to complete business processes like procurement and managing orders and billing of order and management of human resources. So mainly, normally uh, from the different, suppose we are going to discuss from other softwares and to compare with SAP. So mainly differences integrations. So what happened in integration? Suppose we are having a different different modules like metal, SAP metals management, sales and distributions, finance and controlling, and human and resource. Suppose we are using some purchasing, try to purchasing some materials from metals management perspective. That from business, from if you are using this SAP software, then the finance department also know that key what materials has been purchased how many parts how many um, uh, means quantity has been purchased and how much money they have to pay everything they they can know that means that is integrations with mmsd mmfi mmhr this all module is integrated okay for so that is the reason so oh, all the departments should know this what are the activities is going on from other perspective from other module perspective this is the main integration in SAP. For this is the reason more than 80% are companies they are using SAP software in India in Indian country. Okay. So a business process is SAP. In SAP is termed as module. Normally, what happens from MM module? Material MM stands for materials management. Materials management means what? Uh, we are suppose we are going to implement the MM. MM is capturing the purchasing procurement and inventory management. Suppose you want to purchase a material from the vendor. What is vendor called? Is a seller who is providing a goods to the company. Okay, we are purchasing a material to the from from external vendor. Then that is the part the capturing by metals management. And when the metals goods are coming into the company, where is kept in the stock? And we are issuing the distributing the stock to different cost center to different plants and companies. Those part also called inventory management. Those parts also capturing by materials management. Okay, so it all supports aspects of materials management, planning, and control. It is the backbone of the logistic area, which incorporates modules like sales and distributions production planning plant maintenance project systems warehouse management which are extremely obvious on materials management module okay so it means mm materials management finance and controlling sales and distributions and uh yeah and hr human resources these are these all are core modules suppose some business want to implement this in this module means they have to uh, implement this core module, then only they can implement like warehouse management, they can implement like extended warehouse management. Without materials management, they are not able to implement WM, EWM. So 
these modules are basically core modules in sap okay so we are going to the next page the features of sap mm the features of sap mm is sap mm is one of the modules of sap that deals with metals management and inventory management metals management process ensure that there is a never a shortage of the metals or any gaps in the supply chain process of the organizations so uh, normally what happen suppose you are going suppose you are using some materials using some goods it follows under the stock level minimum stock level then we have some automatic process in sap mm to maintain the maximum to a stock level in the inventory management so suppose you want to create a purchase order from purchase equation system will system will uh, means user will create a purchase equation or then system will automatically will create a po from the purchase equation these all are automatic process we have in sap mm to the through materials requirement planning so we can come, we can capture them in sap mm also okay so it deals with managing materials product and services and resources of the organizations with aiming of accelerating productivity reducing cost and increase improvements and at similar time be versatile to accommodate change in a day to life means what happened we are purchasing goods from the vendor end but also we are purchasing services from the vendor end means what happened some suppose in your company you want to you want some from project you want to from suppose for a company for project work is going on for project work you want to like uh, build a something else like a power plant or whatever it may be water plant structure or whatever it may be something building structure is going on so you need some manpower to work on that so company is giving the service order to the contractor and service is the contractor is going to complete that work so suppose your in house materials are also there in in house materials like vehicles is get want to want need a services so for that also we are sending to the vendor to complete the sir to get it the services to get it the service done properly for that is also a service procurement in that service procurement these service procurement we are purchasing services from the outside of the vendors okay so it deals with the procurement process master data material and vendor master data so what is master data master data contains which type of inform which type of data contain multiple informations contain contain multiple information means like suppose you are going to purchase a laptop that purchase laptop uh, like this a laptop contains that model name a laptop contains like uh, uh, like a uh, model name weight width okay this all the basic information general information what is the accounting information of the laptop the so accounting information of the laptop is that how much what is the cost of the laptop what is the price of the laptop that is called the accounting information then the laptop contains multiple information which particular data is having a multiple information that data is called a master data okay so we are creating a material master we are creating a vendor master in sap system so these all called master data so i can show you in the system how to uh, how it's miss uh, what is the tipo how to display the master records like master data in sap system so i can show you right now. so this just to log in so the t code is mm03 to display material market data so this is the master data so how it looks like this is a laptop what is the unit of measurement what is all like uh, you can go to this purchasing sales information is having the sales information also okay then you can go to this purchasing informations is the lattice materials also having the like a purchasing information you can go to this accounting information then you can observe the in accounting tab you can observe the price of this laptop okay because for that is the reason we are calling as a master data because he is having a multiple informations 
So this the T code is to display the material master record is MM03. MM03 to display material master record. Okay. Go to back. Okay. So you can also display the vendor master. So how to display the vendor master? So I can show you right now. Go back. The T code is XK03. Just try to select the vendor master from which vendor master you can do. For example, this. this is the vendor master. This is the basic general information we are catching over here. What is which vendor master we are going to use it? Okay, vendor master control contains. General information, accounting informations like which particular account this is the accounting informations, hmm. and also the vendor master have is having purchasing informations. This purchasing information we can use for the metal master, metals management prospecting. This is the vendor master. Okay, so the, the vendor master key code to display the vendor master is XK03. So we are creating the material master in the SAP system and we are creating the vendor master also in SAP system. So account determination, valuation of material, inventory management, invoice verification and materials requirement planning. These all processes, these all processes we are capturing in SAP MM module. Okay. Here we are going to the next phase. Suppose we want to display this organizational structure in SAP system, how it looks like. Suppose you are going to some client and you are facing some client's requirement in suppose in what type of projects this may be an implementation projects, it may be a, uh, a support project. So, so you have to ask them what is your company, what is your company code, then what is your purchasing organization. So we are having a one company and multiple company codes. So what is company and what is company codes? Company means for an example, we can take as a Tata company, Tata group of companies. It is a company, what a single company is a Tata. But when you are coming to this company code, Tata is having a different, different business uh, and uh, business structures. Like, and we can business, uh, like we can tell this um, manufacturing industries also he has, he's, uh, he's having, and like he's having some like a uh, hotel management and he's having like a Tata Motors and he's having like a uh, steel productions. So those, to business structures we can capture in company code we can and we can tell to like the company code okay what is purchasing organization purchasing organization is an organization who purchases a material from outside of the vendor okay who purchases it is a normally in a layman language in it from the business perspective we can tell this is a purchase department okay from which company is belong to this, which uh, which purchase department, you have to define it. So those purchase departments is handling the purchasing procurement with different, different procurement scenarios we have. So whatever it may be, so he's handling by the purchasing uh, scenarios by purchase department. So when we are coming to this plant, so we can, uh, as per the requirement, we can have the multiple plants. So suppose we are going to some client level, they are telling that okay, how many plants they have. So that much of plants you have to create in the SAP system. You have to define the client in SAP system. So what happened in this in this case, you have to define it. Suppose they are having a manufacturing, suppose they are having a multiple info, multiple plants. I think I can tell you like more than 20 number of plants. So belongs to this company code, belongs to this purchasing organization. So you have to define the multiple number of 20 number of plants over here. In that plant, they, are have, they can have a single storage locations or they can have the multiple storage locations. So what is storage locations? Storage locations is where you are keep, uh, where you are storing the goods. It's called a storage locations. So what is plant? Where the manufacturing, where is the manufacturing unit? It may be a steel production. It is maybe an iron ore production. It may be a, like a different axle productions. Some production manufacturing units called a plant. Okay, so this is the you can have the company single company in under the single company you can have the multiple company codes you can have the 
single purchasing organization for all company codes also you can have the specific to this company code to the multiple purchasing organizations as per the requirement you have to define the company hierarchy structure in sap system so we are going to show the company hierarchy structure in sap system right go back let's come to this page is looking slow right now Try to lock it. Go back. Go to transaction code EC zero one to display the company hierarchy structure. To make it refresh right now. Like in this case, in the copy of my code. Oh, my God! Okay. So, we will discuss about this. Come to okay. just you have to look this, it's quite, it's quite slow. We'll get back to this within some time. Okay. So we can continue this line. Then after we'll come to this. Okay. So we are coming to this system landscape right now. So what is system landscape? So first of all, we'll discuss about SAP system landscape is defined as an arrangement of SAP servers. Ideally, in an SAP environment, a four system landscapes exist. A system landscape consists of the development server and quality server, hmm, assurance servers and quality staging server and production server. So what is this all? Suppose uh, as a functional consultant, I can tell you as a functional consultant, whatever it may be, suppose you are getting some of the requirements from the business. So at that time, you have to you have to test it as per the requirement. You have to configure the system. If that is not related to the configurations, you have to develop uh, the enhancement from the Z development with the help of ABAP consultant. So in this development server, in this development server, we are going to configure it. We are going to um, uh, like, uh, suppose we are going to some through and for enhancement purpose, from Z development purpose as for the requirement in development server only, we can do this all activities. And as, as per the requirement, it is as per the expected results, it is working fine or not, we can uh, perform the unit testing in development server only. Okay, then come to this. If it is in work fine as per the expect, expected results, we have to release the transport request to the quality system, to the quality system. Okay, then it will come to the quality system as a part of functional consultant. We have to perform this system integration testing over here. System integration testing before sending to UAT to the business users. UAT stands for UAT stands for user acceptance testing. User acceptance testing. Before that, we have to perform the system integration testing. We have to confirm. As per the requirement, as per the expected result, it is working fine or not. Then we can send it to the business users. As per the request, then they will perform the UAT. They will confirm us that for those requirements is working fine or not through mail. And after getting the UAT confirmation mail, then basis consultant will move the transport request from quality to staging, from quality to staging server. What is staging server? Staging server is a pre-production server. Staging server is a pre-production server. In that case, what we have to do, some the different different business user will come to this uh, phase and they will perform the testing over here. If everything is fine, 
then we will get the confirmation from the business same development or same configuration development whatever it may be what which particular part we have think same thing only we are going to move it to the production server so this is called the sap landscape sap landscape sap landscape means the sequencing of server from which sequencing of server you are using and we are moving the developments or configurations or business requirement from server to server in a sequence way suppose in interview your uh, interviewer or recruiter is something asking to you different type of questions they will ask some what is sap landscape then your answer will be first server will be the development second will be the quality third will be the staging fourth will be the production so before suppose we are going to discuss before 7 years or 10 years back so many clients number of clients they are using three layer of sub server three layers development quality and production so right now or oh, maximum clients they are using development quality staging and production in this picture staging comes to this picture right now staging okay so try to go to ec01 transaction code okay it's working right now then we are going to observe the uh, company hierarchy area go to structure go to navigation you continue have to find the company code which company code or uh, organization structure you want to observe it continue just select this and click continue you can find over here this is the company code is getting populated double click on it you can observe the company hierarchy structure over here this is the company this is the company company code company code two no multiple company code is assigned with one company you can observe here like this this is the controlling area then plant how many plants you have okay just come down how many plants how many storage location you have the same plant is assigned with same company code how many distribution channels you have in this to this is how many number of plants has been assigned to this distribution channel so many things we have the same plant this plant is having how many storage locations you can observe here this the storage location were oh my god okay so this is the storage locations which we have here this is a distribution channel to link with the plant then you can also the shipping point also defined so this is the company hierarchy structure how it looks like in sap system this is the purchasing organization same purchasing organization which assigned with which company code this purchasing organization is assigned with this plant this is the linkage this line is called assignments okay so many things we have in this parameter you want to check it then this is a shipping point the shipping point is assigned with this two per plants this is the purchasing different purchasing organization you can also like this okay you can also it okay this is a controlling area this is a different plant we have here so many things we have so you can observe like this this is the company hierarchy structure in sap how it looks like you can observe here okay okay so already we have discussed about the sap system landscape then we are coming to this business processes business process assessment is the process design means suppose this is a for an example for you this is a procure to pay process the process of the buying of the materials and obtaining services from vendors or dealers is a procurement the steps which are required to procure a material from the procurement cycle this is a procurement cycle p2p processes we are using in different different business uh, environment 
those business uh, are using this type of processes to capturing P2P process. P2P. P2P stands for procure to pay. Or somebody will tell there's a procurement cycle. And some other person will tell like this SFTMM cycle. So different, different words, technical words we have. So normally we are telling this a procure to pay only. So what happened in this case? Suppose, what is this purchase requisition? What is this purchase requisition? Purchase requisitions means sub, uh, in a company, suppose you are going to some company, in that company is having a different, different type of departments like IT department, finance department, admin department, HR department, okay, store department, hmm, production department, different, different departments they have. In those departments, if in some cases they need some goods, they need some material. In that case, what happened? They will directly, they will give a call or they will send a mail. They will communicate with store department. In that storage location, in that store department, if they don't have any stock, stock of that, means at that time, they will create a purchase requisition over here. Purchase requisition is nothing like, is a, in layman language, it's called an indent letter. It's called an indent letter. And second thing is, it is an internal document. This purchase education is not going outside of the company. It's the internal document. It will keep in the internal company only, inside company only. Okay. After creation of this purchase education, it is goes for, it flows for approval process. The concerned person will approve it. In this approval process, in our SAP, we are calling as a release process, release strategy, release procedure. Okay. The release procedure will come, come means, uh, configured by SAP MM consultant and it will define by and after release the purchase requisition goes to purchase department and it will create the purchase order with the reference of same purchase requisition. Okay, purchase order means they will select a vendor and they will create a, the purchase department create a purchase order. Okay, after creating a purchase order it goes for approval process. Then same, this is the actual process called release procedure. Then after getting approved, then purchase order will go to the vendor through mail, through courier, whatever it may be. Okay. Then the vendor will send the goods, goods to the plant, goods to the company. Then at that same time, the company will perform this goods shift in SAP system. At the, after making goods shift, at the same time, inventory stock will get updated. The same when we will make a goods shift, the goods will come inside to the company. Then the same time, what happens? The inventory stock means storage location. In storage location, goods will get stored in storage location. That is called inventory stock updated. Okay. At the same time, or after some days, after some days, hmm, what happened? Vendor will send an invoice copy to the company. What at the same time we have to perform the invoice shift transaction in uh, SAP system. Okay, so say if in some ex exception cases, inverse will get blocked, then it goes for approval process, then after approving, it, get, it will get posted. Okay, so second, the last part is after making of inverse, this is a part of MM, this is a part of SAP MM metals management. Okay, after posting of inverse receipt, then it will come to this picture is a FI department, finance department. Finance department will make this vendor payment. Okay, this is called P2P process. So I will show some transaction to you right now, how it looks like purchase education, how it looks like purchase order, so how it looks like goods to shift. Okay, in, where, in which cases inventory stock will, will get updated, how we'll know this inventory stocks gets updated or not. So those things I will show you right now in a transaction, how to display it but I can't show you right now how to create it. Just go back. Then the key code is ME53N to display purchase requisition. To display purchase requisitions. Go to this PPT page. This is the purchase requisition we are going to display right now. This is the purchase requisition, how it looks like to display purchase requisitions. So we are getting so many information. This is the material. This is the shortage of materials. How much quantity you required. This is the valuation tab. Means uh, how much uh, the, this each quantity price is this, this much. Okay. So which material, which storage locations. 
this is called so this is the purchase equation you can go to the status tab you can observe uh, this purchase equation is created is completed or not means already purchase order created with the reference of this purchase equation you can observe it okay so this is a purchase equation if you want to display the purchase order then you can display the purchase order just go to me23n me23n to display purchase order So same purchase. Go to the uh, purchase equations screen. There are four, five, two, zero, one, seven, nine, two, six. Same purchase order we are going to display over here. Yeah, same four, five, two, zero, one, seven, nine, two, six. Same purchase order. This is the purchase order already we have created with the reference of with the reference of same purchase equation. You can observe this reference tab. The purchase equation number is getting populated over here. Okay. So this is the purchase order we have already created. Uh, the purchase order house looks like the vendor is contains over here. The document date, the purchase order number. This is the material. Sorry, I have to expand here. This is the material, and this is the item detail. This is the item detail condition tabs. Then in this condition tabs, what happens? System will calculate the price of the material in purchase order. Okay, go to invoice tab. Then system will observe. You can observe how much what tax codes to we are using to calculate the taxes in purchase order. Okay, so you can go to this delivery address tab. Now, after receiving the goods, where it's going to receive the goods, you can observe this plant. This same plant address is it will get populated over here. This is called purchase order. Okay, this is a purchase order screen. So we are going to PPT back. Go to then we are going to display the goods shipped. We are going to display the goods shipped. So how to display the goods shipped? Go to this is the purchase order we have created. So if you want to create a goods shipped, then you can create normally for transactions. So we haven't created the goods shipped. We are going to perform the goods. Shipped. How to create it? Go to transaction code MyGo. Then you have to select this goods shipped over here. And select the like references purchase order. And enter the purchase order document. This just click item OK. Click check. Continue. Then click post it. Okay, not an issue. So you want to post it? Then it's some error is getting populated right now. So you can post like this document. So we are going to paste the purchase order. Which purchase order is having? Goods is we are going to display over here. Click document overview on selection variant. This is the purchase order. How to display? How to find it? So many purchase orders we have. Based on company code, we are going to find the purchasing documents. So many purchase orders we have created. So. Yeah, this is the purchase order history. This purchasing document we are going to observe here. This is the purchase order document. Okay, so normally how much? This is the goods receipt document. This is the goods you can display. You can click over here. The goods receipt transaction will show you right now. This is the goods receipt document. Display goods receipt document. Okay, display goods receipt document right now. You can observe here which material we are going to receive, how much quantity we have received. Hmm. So many things we are observing here, right? So this is the goods receipt transaction. So if you want to come here, if you want to come to, if you want to display the invoice receipt transaction, then go back. Not this one. Come this one. Okay. Go back. This is the invoice receipt document. This is the invoice receipt document you can observe here. Here, so normally this is the invoice or receipt document looks like. This is the invoice date, posting date, how much amount with including taxes, 
okay how uh, which purchase means how much amount has been which purchase order order has been referenced by quantity okay you can also here payment details go to payment tab also you can observe the baseline date these all payment related informations go to tax tab you can observe the which tax code how much tax uh, rate has been defined all those things you can observe here hmm. so this is the invoice vendor payment means uh, this is not a relevant for the mm perspective means this is a vendor payment is basically from fi perspective so in real time what happens fi per, fi persons they are creating a vendor payment okay so this is the transactions which i have showed you right now so we need to understand some like uh, uh smart stands for suppose uh, i'm going to some sap system i want to show you something or uh, in which part uh, the consultants are going after completion of training so you are going to be a vn consultant then as a consultant we have to configure the system so in which area we are going to configure the system the pay code is appearing the codes are there like some transaction codes we are going to enter here the transaction codes transaction codes and enter like spro and click sap reference img it comes to like implement sap customization implementation guide so in this area we are going to configure as per the module specific which modules have belongs from that belongs from like sap mm sap sd or sap fi whatever it may be okay in this area only you are going to configure the sap system the main objective to configure the system is enterprise structure and materials management so as per the related to sap mm you can come you can configure the required parameters okay this all configurations which we have we are capturing in this training okay so normally you have enter the spro transaction code so spro is having a some stands for sap spro full form is s for sap t for project r for reference o for object sap project reference object so already we had used this migo transaction code to make goods shipped so migo transaction is full form is movement in goods out and if you are going to post the miro means miro means invoice receipt the miro stands for movement in receipt out ecc ecc is a version ecc is a version ecc stands for enterprise central component means ecc version right now the my is the system say if this version is ehp 7 you can observe here this version ehp 7 the current the current latest version of ecc is ecc ehp 8 okay so ids ids is the test system which provided by the sap to practice it to uh, to practice for practice purpose okay you can use for the practice purpose it's called it's called a test system so suppose you are when you are trying to log in the system so it becomes is appearing over here ids okay so id stands for international demonstration evaluation system so already this so this is sap reference img stands for implementation guide to access implementation guide we are using this transaction lsmw what is lsmw lsmw is nothing like it to uploading this is a uploading tool in sap system only we are having the transaction called lsmw go to lsmw enter it so continue this is the uploading tool to from non sap to sap system from sap to sap system to migrate the data to migrate the data means bulk of data you can upload from this tool of this application also we can use bdc bdc also is a tool to upload the to, to migrate the data from sap to sap system from non sap to sap system okay so you can upload the bulk of data then it's is it may be a open transaction data it may be a master data master data means like matter master data vendor master data open transaction data means 
already you have created a purchase order but you haven't created goods receipt or if you are have if you have created a goods receipt then you haven't created invoice invoice means the purchase order is still open it's called a open transaction data which data is open right now it's called a open transaction data those data we are uploading in lsmw process in bdc process lsmw can perform only by the functional consultant there is nothing required to help with technical consultant technical consultant means it is a above consultant sap is divided two parts one is functional and another one is technical okay then bdc bdc is required first of all it is required with both of consultants functional and technical consultant they can prepare a bdc with bdc the above consultant will write a program over here with code with the help of coding program coding but functional consultant which our modules like mm sd fi wm ewm those modules don't have to write a code we can run the process through configurations to first of all we have to need to understand the business requirement then only as per the requirement we have to configure the system then come to bappy bappy what is bappy it's a function it is application to upload the master data so upload the transaction data these all these all uh the these all uh, lsmw bdc and bappy this all are migration tick migration tool also we can tell this migration tool okay data migration tool baddy baddy is a business add-in is a when suppose you are getting some requirement from the business for an example i'll tell you one thing the business is telling to add a field over here for different type of purpose for an example they need to enter the request of name which person is creating they need to uh, enter the request name over here so what happen in this case in suppose you are you want to try or um, whatever may be means in standard this is a standard program which is provided by sap if you want to edit the standard program it is called enhancement if you want to enhance the program it is required a baddy in this program in this purchase order program the baddy is if the in back end program in baddy is available then only abapper can done the announcement okay to achieve this requirement then ehp what is ehp go to this uh, login page you are observing here ehp 7 is a version what is ehp ehp stands for announcement package ehp stands for announcement package okay then come to this types of projects what is types of projects Type of project means mapping the client's business process newly into SAP, uh, who is presently using some other legacy system. It's called a implementation project. It's called a implementation project. So mapping the client's business process newly into SAP means normally what happened? Suppose you are going to implement the SAP system, but before SAP system, they are using some different other software. Okay, so what is legacy system? which system they are currently using in the business that is called legacy system so implementation project means in which project you are going to install the sap software newly is called a implementation project support project solving the issues raised by the client who is already implemented sap means what happened support project means already they have implemented sap but day by day as per the requirement as per the user requirement they are, they need to uh, they are raising different different incidents in in that incidents what happen you have to solve it you have to solve it as per the service level agreement is called a support project you have to solve those issues you have to maintain the servers is called is we, we can tell this a uh, like a maintenance of server or raising solving those issues in support project only we can perform this type of activities rollout project the if the client is expanding the business then mapping the new pro business into sap suppose already we had discussed a tata group of companies uh, they are having a different different type of business structure suppose they are implemented uh, in uh, like a uh, manufacturing industries they are already implemented sap in that they are coming in tata motors they are already implemented sap but 
when you are coming to this tanishk means like gold items diamond items okay ornaments in that business structures also they want to need a, they need to implement sap it is called the client is expanding the business requirement okay this is called a rollout project already they have implemented it in some other uh, business structure but they need to implement some other uh, different business structure in same company in that is belong to same company that is called rollout project upgradation project means what upgradation the system from old version to new version means currently uh, suppose for an example they are suppose they are, some different client is using ehp 7 but they need to upgrade the ehp 8 version it's called a upgradation project okay so this type of process we have all those end to end scenarios we are capturing in this training based on real time configurations based on based on uh, real time scenarios okay all those things we are capturing over here okay so thank you and have a good day